Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So, wanted to talk about this, uh, something really cool that happened to me last week. Actually it happened to my family and I. An opportunity came up that where I needed to adapt and I needed to overcome the vision impairment in order to enjoy this opportunity and be successful at it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. A little bit of backstory. My family is very much into theater and musicals. Um, my, <laughs> my family, not me. <laughs> I'm not really a theater musical person. Um, it's just not my thing. I respect them as an, as an art form and a craft. I think it's amazing people that do that, but it's just, it's just not something I'm into. But it turns out that this summer, a local children's theater here in our town is putting on the musical Matilda. And Ethan, if you put in It's actually a really exciting and fun musical. So when it got announced that the local children's theater was gonna be putting it on, uh, my daughter wanted to uh, audition. So my wife was looking into the auditioning process and she saw that they were saying that if families auditioned, you had a better chance of getting a part because they're really promoting family unity and doing things together as a family. I said, okay, yes, let's do it. That sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. And then I started to realize wait a minute, how does a blind person audition? They give you the script, they let you uh, practice a, a, you know, once or twice, and then they bring you in and you do the audition. But you're, you're doing it holding the script. You're, you're looking at the script as you give your audition. And I can't do that, of course. Now, I will say that these people were amazing. They were so friendly and accommodating. Uh, my wife sent them an email letting them know that I was visually impaired and they went ahead and sent me the script and the song before the audition, like three or four days before the audition. So that was pretty awesome. They also sent it to me in large print, which I thought was great. You know, I, I can't read large print anymore, but I really appreciate that gesture that they tried to do that for me. So I did have some time to practice beforehand. Now, once again, this isn't my thing. I'm not an expert at this, so someone that does musical theater and stuff could probably memorize it, <laughs> memorize these two scenes that they had to do within like three days before the audition, but not me, especially with going to work and, and you know having to do blind life stuff. I just didn't have time. But then I remembered my buddy Derek put out a video a while back where he was talking about his this trick he uses for giving presentations. And the trick was to put the presentation onto an iPad. So what he does is he puts the talking points of the presentation onto the Evernote app. And what's great about Evernote is with voiceover, it will read line by line. Um, it won't read a whole section, it'll just read one line and then stop. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll try that. I wonder if that would work in this case. And I actually contacted Derek uh, like two days before and I sent him a text and I, I told him what was going on and I asked him if this would work and he said, yes, actually that's perfect. It works great. He's done it before. So I tried it. I put my two scenes on there, uh, the parts that I had to read, and then I just wore one earbud in my ear and, and so it was like somebody was feeding the line to me in my ear. It was great. Now, a couple things I did, I sped up the voice so that I would read it much quicker. That way it would help with the timing uh, while I was up there acting. And then another thing I did, which this is a little bit cheating, but the whole musical Matilda is set in England. They're English, they're British. So the acting coaches said, if you wanted to try an English accent, you could. You didn't have to, but if you wanted to, you could. And of course, me being me, I'm like, yes, we're doing an English accent, absolutely. So what I did is I put one of the English voices on voiceover, I think his name is Daniel, I put Daniel on. So it would read it to me in that English accent and then I could just mimic that. And it actually worked out really well. I, I think I did really well. Now, unfortunately, when I was doing the song part of the audition, singing the song, 
this doesn't really help in that situation. Um, for that one, I just practiced the song as much as I could beforehand. And there, I no way had all the words down packed. These people were very accommodating. They were so super nice. They knew about my vision impairment. They knew about the limitations. I wasn't gonna be able to do it the same way that everyone else was. And they took that into consideration. So in fact, when I got up to do my song, you know, you practice it in a group a bunch and then you learn the song and you practice it and then you have to get up and sing it yourself. Um, and in this case, there were, we got up in sets of three or two or three and sang the song so that they could hear your voice. And, and once again, I didn't know all the words. And so it was a lot of ah, extremely careful, la 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 la, you know. And, but the, and they knew that, and that was okay. They are just concerned with, you know, I'm, I'm assuming anyways, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I think they're just concerned with, they wanna hear your voice, you know, your vocal range and all that. They wanna, they wanna see how you project. And I think most importantly, they wanna see your confidence. Nobody knows the song before they get there. And so nobody is expected to be able to nail that song 100% or nail that scene 100%. They wanna see how you handle it, how you project on stage, how you interact with everyone else, that sort of thing. And those things, vision doesn't come into play at all. That's all about you and your confidence. I really wanted to try and get some video of the audition, video of me using the technology to overcome this problem, uh, <laughs> but I wasn't able to. Like I said, my whole family was there doing it also, so there wasn't anybody that would record it for me. But I wanted to make this video to tell you guys about this and encourage you that if there's something out there that you want to do, some goal you've set, and maybe you're worried about the vision, maybe you're thinking the vision is gonna prevent me from doing this. I want to encourage you that you can accomplish the goal. There are ways to get around the vision impairment in order to do what you want. Whether that is using the technology that we have available to us, or, as I always tell you guys, just ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Getting on and off on a little side note, I hear this all the time at work. Uh, people I talk to, they say they don't want to be a burden. They don't want to be a burden on their friends and their family. In fact, Casey, how Casey sees it, touched on this the other day in her video. And I tell them, I say, no, nobody wants to be a burden. But think about it this way. What if you reversed the situation? What if they were the ones that were asking you for help? Would you think that they were being a burden? No, chances are you would be more than happy to help any way you could because most of us are selfless and we like helping people. So it's, it's exactly the same. Your friends and your family don't think you're being a burden. Now, they might not be able to. I mean, it just might not be convenient for them at the time to help you but in no way do they think you're being a burden on them. So always try to remember that. Now, one more thing before I go, what do you guys think of the shirt? Huh? Blind Life t-shirt? I'll make a video coming up very soon talking about, about, talking about Blind Life t-shirts and how to get them. People have asked me about that and I'm finally getting that going. So stay tuned for that. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this video has helped to inspire you to go out there and try something new, maybe, or at least set a goal and try to attain that goal. I mean, it could be something as huge as going back to school or something as small as taking an Uber to the grocery store by yourself. A lot of people, that's, that's a big one for a lot of people, but you can do it. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thank you again for watching. Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.